Hi, I'm Eli Shagan. Today, we're not just cooking, we're cooking contaminated. Welcome everybody once again to Cooking Contaminated. Uh, today I'm here with my good friend Chubbs of the Philadelphia Sludge Monsters Javelina. And uh, Chubbs, how are you today? Oh, I'm awesome. We're making chili. Fucking and right, I think dude. that's pretty awesome. So. Yeah. Well, you, I have heard that you are a quite the connoisseur of chili. I've, I've made a lot of chili. I've eaten a lot of chili. I've judged some chili cook-offs before at, you know, uh, Dirty Franks at the Kyber and at the Pope. I won there two years in a row. So, no slouch right no. there at all. Awesome. And so now this is an all pork chili, so Muslims beware. And we are going to go ahead and uh, start with what then? Bacon. Bacon. Awesome. Bacon and gets you delicious bacon fat. All right. We already bacon. chopped about a pound of bacon. He's going to throw that into the skillet. And while he's doing that, I am going to prep and chop about two pounds of unmarinated pork loin. Kind of looks like this. Ugh. Okay, now that this is all chopped, we're gonna go ahead and put it into a bowl and mix it with Chubb's special uh, pork rub, which has a little bit of smoked paprika, uh, some cumin, a little bit of chili powder, and uh, anything else uh, that's in there? Salt and pepper to taste, girl. Salt and pepper to taste, girl. And I'll go ahead and just mix that in by hand. All right, now we're gonna go to deglaze. Uh, this pan right here, it's got all the good meaty bits at the bottom of it from cooking up the pork. And uh, we'll do that after every uh, every meat that we do in here and all the vegetables as well to get just get all that good stuff right off the bottom. And the final variation of pork we're adding is going to be a ground pork mixture with about a pound and a half of ground pork with a tablespoon and a half of Morton's sausage and meatloaf seasoning. Um, you can probably find it in your local grocery store. If not, any butcher shop will be able to, uh, you know, hook you up with it too. So we're just gonna mix that by hand. Plop that down in there. Just love meat between your fingers and stuff. All right, now that that's all mixed up, Chubbs can go ahead and throw that on there. So, dude, I just saw you perform uh, with I Hate God. Performance. Another performance. I just saw a year of to do with I Hate God. It was fantastic. It's awesome. Killed it. It's awesome show. As always, do um, you guys have any other shows in the works? or uh, Nothing too crazy until May. We're going to go out in May, kind of uh, go down the East Coast and over to Texas and kind of back up because we love the South. No strangers to the South. No. no. They have awesome barbecue there. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't even care about playing, I just want to eat. <laughs> I tour to eat sometimes too. That's yeah. awesome. Well, as soon as that meat is uh, browned up, we'll go ahead and get our veggies ready to rock out. Chubb's finishing up the ground pork uh, mixture over there, and I'm going to get the vegetables prepped out. And uh, yes, there are actually vegetables in this chili. We're going to do about two green bell peppers, uh, one uh, large onion, and we're going to put one jalapeno in here. Uh, Chuck, sometimes you use poblanos as well. Poblanos are good, and jalapenos, you know, you can use as many as you like. If, if you like it hot, like I do, hot. maybe we'll go ahead and use a couple more. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and dice these up. Okay. okay. All right, these are all chopped. Um, so is that, is that uh, ground pork done? We are good to go. We're ready for the vegetables, man. Why don't we go ahead, I'm gonna give them the vegetables. He's gonna throw in that same pan with a little bit more bacon fat. Bacon fat and everything, man. Bacon fat and everything. 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 I would say pork fat rules, but somebody else already says that. Pork fat rules. Yeah, right. He's fucking said it. Say it. Aw, oh, that's more obsessive. Right now. 
lot of those vegetables are cooking down, we're going to prep a little simple jalapeno hot sauce that Chubbs has a recipe for. And uh, we're going to start with about a cup of white vinegar, a quarter cup of sugar, about a handful, five, six jalapenos, and a good half bowl of garlic, a lot of garlic in there. Um, do you want to go ahead and start uh, with this vinegar? How do you want me to actually chop these? Seriously, all you gotta do is take the uh, stems off and then cut them in half. Because you're gonna blend up the whole thing in a blender anyway. Okay, sounds simple. We'll go ahead and just chop these things off, and then maybe just chop them off like this. And we're gonna go ahead and use the blender then for the rest. And the garlic, I don't need to chop it off. No, nah, it's gonna get all blended up. All right, excellent. So chop up in there. Okay, so here are the peppers and the garlic, and you want to go ahead and bring that up with oil, I'm guessing? Yeah, you want to boil it until these guys kind of, uh, they'll change color. They'll look like uh, like army pants. Awesome. Excellent. And as soon as we do that, we'll blend it up real good. To the chili, we are going to add one can of kidney beans and one can of black beans, one large can of crushed tomatoes, and one can of whole peeled tomatoes, about a tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, a half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and a half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. All right, so now we're ready for the final ingredient into the chili, and that would be one beer. Put that shit in the beer. most awesome beer ever. Absolutely. And once we add that to the chili, we're gonna bring it up to a boil, and then once it hits a boil, I drop it down to a simmer for, I mean, how long is, is, is too long? I mean, it's, I don't think there is a question. You know, three hours is awesome. Six hours is great. Yeah, yes. keep going, for, keep going. And let it sit in the fridge overnight, it's even better the next day. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get it ready, and, uh, and then we're probably gonna prepare the batter for our cornbread, because there's really nothing better to have with chili than cornbread. So we'll go ahead and rock that right now. We've got some dry ingredients here. We've got two cups of cornmeal, two tablespoons of sugar, two jalapenos seeded and diced, about a quarter cup of bacon, about two ounces of cheddar cheese. Put that with about the rest of the bacon fat that we have. One can of creamed corn and one egg. So now that I'm mixing this all together, um, Chubb, you were talking about your tours. You got any new music that you're working on right now? Yeah, we're actually in the studio right now, uh, Super 8 Studios, with uh, Mr. Mick Mullen, who recorded seven songs, and uh, yeah, they're uh, they're they're crusher. I mean, I'm, I'm very stoked. Like I haven't been stoked. Uh, I haven't been stoked this much in a little while. You know, I think we're kind of coming into our own a little bit more. So. Awesome. That's yeah, we've been great. playing together for uh, a couple years longer now, so it's kind of you get real tight. Awesome. Speaking of tight, this actually is all mixed up. And what you can do is just put it in the refrigerator until your chili's ready to go. And then we're going to heat up the oven. We're going to put it right in that skillet with a little bit more bacon fat, a little bit more cheese. We don't go, you know, we don't go skinny here. And we'll just throw it right in there. And it's going to be great. Fucking ready. We put it in the fridge. Fridge! Now that the oven is preheated to 425 degrees, I'm going to put this mixture that is already chilled into a preheated cast iron skillet. We're going to top this with the remainder of our cheddar cheese and we're going to pop it in the oven for about 20-25 minutes. Alright, right. now that is sizzling hot. Chubbs already has some of our chili into a bowl right now. I'm going to bring this over to the table we're going to serve it. It looks Fantastic! Woo! Cheesy! Alright! Awesome! There is the cornbread right there. Be careful that's hot. Alright, so we have our chili and our cornbread with a little bit of our homemade hot sauce on the side if you like a little bit spicy. We're going to be enjoying our meal today with our Philly Boys Yards Brawler. Uh, spicy food is usually always better with an ale. The hops do very well with the spicy food. And this, uh, the low alcohol content makes this a great marathon beer for the long cooking process long. and hanging process. So cheers, man. cheers to Chubbs. Thanks again. Cheers to you. Thanks for watching in. I know you want to watch me eat this, but I'm not going to. Have a good night. <laughs>